Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at how to draw dogs part two and we are going to draw a poodle today. The first part that we're going to draw of our poodle is we're going to draw his face and poodles have a longer muzzle than uh, Dalmatians do if you watched my last video. So we're going to draw it just in two really simple lines. I'm going to draw one line like this. And so you're going to start here and it's kind of like somebody walking down a gently sloping hill backwards uh, and then just stopping. Once you've drawn that line, we're going to draw another line for the lower half of uh, our poodle's muzzle. And we're going to connect here and just draw down and like that. So if I turned it sideways and actually looks maybe like a, a shark fin, that's the shape that you're uh, looking to be able to draw. So the second step that we're going to do is we're going to draw our poodle's nose and that is just a triangle and we already have the first two sides of that triangle drawn for us this part and this part here so we're just going to connect those sides with a third a third line it doesn't have to be perfectly straight and it just looks a little bit like this once you're happy with that line you can color in your poodle's nose and you can even leave just a little tiny, tiny bit of white uh, for the reflection because uh, it'll help make your poodle's nose look a little bit more wet. Next, we're going to draw the poodle's mouth. And again, that's just a really simple line. We're going to start here on the lower half of the muzzle. And we're just going to draw one line kind of going into your poodle's face a little bit like this. If you uh, tilt you, the line down a little bit, your poodle might look a little bit more sad or worried. And if you tilt the line up a little bit, your poodle will look a little bit happier. Then we're going to draw um, some eyes for our poodle. And we're going to draw really simple eyes today. All they are is two dots. We're going to put them on the upper part of the muzzle and maybe a little bit uh, tilted. They don't have to be exactly the same um, height on your piece of paper. It can be, if you imagined a line drawn between them, it might be a little bit of a sloped line instead of a straight line. And if you want your poodle to have some eyebrows for more personality, you can give your poodle eyebrows right now too. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to draw the poodle's ears. Now, um, a poodle groomed in a show groom would have a really big, floofy um, head and upper body. And we're going to start with his ears in that really nice show groom that are really fluffy and poofy and enormous. So we're going to start the ears next to the eyes. And because a poodle's hair is so curly, we're going to just use little different squiggles. They don't all even have to meet up at all. They can be going in different directions. And you're going to kind of follow a rectangular shape. So you're going to go down and then over. And then you're going to go back up. Now his actual ears aren't this long, that's actually mostly hair, uh, but we're going to go with these really long floppy ears because that's uh, what I think of when I think of a, a poodle. So now my poodle has ears and now I'm going to give uh, him a nice big floofy haircut. So it's going to go up, around the top of his head, 
and back down and actually going to meet at his back and then come forward and meet at his ear. So we're going to give, kind of looks like he has bangs here and then we're going to start going up. And so these little lines, they're representing the individual hairs. They don't have to connect. They don't all have to be going in the same direction. You're just trying to make your poodle look really nice and fluffy. So we've gone up and around. And then I'm starting to come back down here and just coming down at an angle. So once I reach about two thirds or three quarters of the way down my poodle's ear, I'm going to start bringing that uh, haircut um, down further. So he, about here is going to be where his back is. So I'm actually going to start drawing all the way down here. And feel free to put some of the energy into your little strokes of how you think his hair would feel um, or look if he was walking. I'm going to go all the way down. This is actually going to be where his belly is going to be. And I'm actually going to, just to make this uh, shape a little bit more uh, more rounded. I'm actually going to leave this here and I'm going to start where I want it to connect with his ears. I'll connect right here on the front lower half of his ears and we'll start trying to meet these two not really lines but uh, these two shapes and get them to meet right here. So there's my uh, poodle's haircut and if the poodle is a show poodle sometimes they have little uh, round pom-poms on their back as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a little tiny bit of my poodle's back and I'll make that, if you think about where his neck is hitting, I'll make it just a little bit below his neck right here and then we're going to make a nice round shape. We're going to make that shape look fluffy as well. One thing you can do if you're a little bit worried um, about doing it right the first time and you really want it to turn out is you can draw it in pencil and then if you make a line that you don't really like you can erase it and uh, just try again or you can also draw it really really lightly and then once you're done you don't even have to worry about erase it er erasing it just uh, go over it in a pen or uh, in a marker so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw um, my poodle's back legs here all the way down to the little fluffy pom-poms uh, on his feet just in one stroke. So I'm going to start by connecting the line from his back and I'm just going to go around and down and over like this and down. So that's kind of a complicated line uh, at first glance but what it really is is it's just a forward curve like this and then a backwards curve and then just a little bit of a forwards curve again at the end. And while I've drawn that, I'm also going to draw my poodle's tail. And we're going to just do two little lines right here that are parallel. Does uh, quite skinny tail. And then we're going to draw another pom pom on the end of our poodle's tail. Uh, using that technique where you just use little quick strokes of your pencil or your pen to 
and make it look uh, fluffy. And one thing to remember while you're doing this is you don't want to be pushing really, really hard. Uh, just touch your paper really lightly and gently. Uh, if the mark doesn't show up, you can try a little bit harder, but it's better to do it too lightly than to be really pushing on that pencil or pushing on that pen. So there's my poodle's um, tail. And I'm now going to do my poodle's front legs. So most of this poodle is actually hidden by all of the hair from their haircut. So I'm just going to draw two uh, parallel lines poking out underneath this big mass of, of poodle hair right here. And then I'm going to draw a nice little pom-pom on my poodle's legs using that exact same technique. Now this one is more like an oval rather than a circle. Uh, or it can be more like an oval rather than a circle. Um, and it is pretty tricky to do this sometimes. So if you're having trouble making it um, a nice regular shape, you could always take a really light colored pencil crayon, like a light gray or a pencil, and just really lightly draw a circle before you start trying to add all those flyaway hairs. And now I'm going to do my poodle's front paw. And we're just going to bring it down a little bit. Do that C shape that we did with the Dalmatian. Only it's not a backward C, it's a forward C this time because our poodle is looking in the opposite direction. And then we're going to draw the back part. Paw. And go right here. Oh. I think... My paper, my phone is just a little bit too close to my paper here. I'll lift it up a little bit so you can see better. So two strokes down in case you missed that uh, for the top part of the leg. Then we do a just nice little round or oval shape. And then we're going to draw the paw, making a C shape and then straight down and then flat where it hits the ground. And if you want to give your poodle um, some toes, by all means feel free and just two little um, marks like that will will do a great job so then we're going to draw the second uh, front leg and it's going to be hidden by a lot by the first front leg and we're just going to draw one line here so that's just the back part of that second leg and then we're going to do our poofy shape and it's going to end a little bit before that other one we don't want them to be exactly the same length um, because it'll just look a little bit unnatural and then we'll draw the back part of the poodle's paw like that And now we're going to draw um, the poodle's uh, belly and the top part of his back leg just in one stroke. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a spot on this hair here. And we're going to go up. And then we're going to curve back down. And so we want those uh, paws on the back legs to be about the same height as um, the, the hair on the front legs. So now we're going to use our same technique of adding these little fluffy pom-poms onto our poodle's legs. Remembering to make sure they go in a little bit di different directions. And then we're going to draw our poodle's paws, our back paws. And we want them to be about the same height as those front paws. So you can kind of draw an imaginary line from 
the front paws to the back paws. And like that C shape, flatten where it hits the ground, and then back up. And then if you want your poodle to have three toes, you can just use those two little strokes there, curve strokes to give them the toes. And then we're going to draw our poodle's second back leg. And we're going to start right about here. And we're going to go down, 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 and stop. And then we're going to draw the pom-pom again on this leg. And then we're going to draw our poodle's back paw here. And remembering to try to keep it so it's not at the exact same height as that front, um, the paw that's closer to us. I'll give my poodle a couple of, a couple of toes here. So um, that's it. That is um, my poodle that I've drawn and you can color in your poodle or decorate it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that uh, you feel more confident uh, drawing uh, your poodle and feel free to experiment with lots of different shapes and different ways of drawing eyes and uh, have fun drawing. See you again soon.